Bad news, angry Megan rattles dishes in Montecito kitchen as video of her steaming hot is released as she wishes Princess Diana a warm return and let me use you well, there are a lot of enthusiastic people in Windsor now. The royal commentator just told me that I live only a few miles from the royal town of Windsor. Last week. I visited this small town on the Thames with only 32,000 inhabitants and was amazed to see what had happened, the reviewer went on to say I was at my favorite restaurant. The conversation is the same on all sides. I have never witnessed anything like this in my life. I mean, everyone is talking about Meghan Markle making porn videos. I do not believe. No, our oil will melt in it later. They probably showed this video to that person, and although they tried to protest that it was not me, the local people did not listen. Apparently, one man even shouted, just look at him and listen to his voice. That's her, okay. He believed as much as anyone else that this was true, and then there was a countryman, a retired lawyer who worked closely with the European Union and seemed to know more than anyone else. He explained that there was a ruling by the Court of Justice of the European Union that would prevent search engines in Europe and Google from showing results for queries of a delicate nature as he put it well. Of course, this commentator was shocked to learn that most of the residents were discussing it and many had to have seen it now. The Middletons apparently lived close by just a short drive along the imp from Windsor. It would be inconceivable to believe they didn't hear what those Windsor people are talking about and I think it's safe to assume that of course they talked with Catherine about it, but anyway, we're all hoping they didn't watch the video, it's a case of one scene. You can never see it and I'm not really convinced that it is making in that horrible video, but it's important to add that the Windsor people swear it is absolutely her. So, will the palace announce the news? Of course, it wasn't too long ago that news broke that Meghan was actively involved in the porn industry. Now I've seen some pictures, certainly not movies, but I also understand how easy it is to be fooled by anything that comes up on the internet, so now I don't take anything at face value. The experience of this man in Windsor further proves the, when we smell smoke, we catch fire, argument. So there's a guy who makes and sells porn videos and he says on his podcast that the porn videos are really Megan and that guy is P. If that's not true, then why didn't Megan sue him? She likes to sue everyone and I wonder why the palace is now able to unlock what was once hidden or locked away. But I continue to be amazed that no investigative reporter on either side of the strait has delved into Megan's past. Why is no one revealing all these secrets? Unfortunately, we are often blocked by the media because in the UK they go out of their way to protect the royal family that I suspect they had proof all along, but the royal PR told them not to use it now. Royal family. I'm sure we want Meghan to be fine in the end. She finally realized her dream of becoming a princess. I'm guessing the royals think they're protecting their image by hiding this information, but maybe they're unwittingly keeping themselves and the UK out of helping to show everyone what they're really up against, not a victim of anything. I mean, Meghan lies, she cries. But this woman is greedy and unscrupulous. If the British understood what Meghan was, a man without morals, then perhaps she would have less influence. Maybe his reign of terror is short-lived, maybe Harry will realize that this woman isn't oppressed, but just a mean, mean, low-class little villain. Unfortunately, decisions like this and how to deal with someone like Meghan Markle aren't always obvious, and now she has a title. She is a duchess. What happened to the world? Meghan and Harry are such liars, if it turns out that the children are not from their bodies, then we will see more. Meghan Markle is a fraud, just like her mother, who carries around artificial moon tubes pretending to be pregnant. They should fire him immediately. He should go back to Hollywood and try his luck in Hollywood. Even I am almost all good people in America and I feel ashamed of him and most of us who often cry because of his actions and words. I think every country has its own problems, just as Meg in no way represents the royal family. He doesn't represent us in the US either, of course every nation has its filth, but it looks like we're going to see another iteration of this domineering American with very good sleeping skills who absolutely nails a royal family with personality. And things of the mother, 
but it seems that the problem will be to recognize the children as kings. If Megan was able to do this with the help of her mom and Marcus, I can't believe it. And finally, Megan didn't try to sue anyone because she knows it would draw a lot of attention to the matter. Evidence is needed to prosecute. And this means that all skeletons can fall. Just imagine all the witnesses from Megan's life who will be put on the witness stand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I'm sure they will, and it won't be a good thing for Meghan Markle. The first witness may be Meghan's own father Thomas Markle, the second witness may be at least one ex-husband, the third witness several ex-boyfriends, and the fourth witness Harry's old friends. The fifth military witnesses will be six of Queen Camilla. I think there is a lot of blackmail from all sides. I can't imagine what a difficult situation it must have been for Queen Lake. But with the accusations against Andrew and everything that's going on, I mean he understood the damage that could be done by rejecting Harry's desire to be with Meghan, she also understood the damage that could happen if Harry married me, but I think her hands were tied because there would be trouble either way. So he chose the lesser of two evils. I know it was a difficult decision. Harry got his way and did what he did. I think the late queen thought that while there were problems, at least they weren't close enough for the king and his son William to focus on the royals. A royal source also confirmed that the royal family's pending discussions had never stopped, as I followed, they had never seen privacy. If they went off and lived a private life, the Czech passport wouldn't matter, but they don't just want constant attention, they're trying to lecture the world about changing. Public opinion, slander, demands of kings, reputation and character, knowing that they cannot answer, privilege and right. Looting of charity institutions and depriving society of freedom of speech, etc. I mean, what a joke people keep saying Harry and Meghan make up all these ridiculous stories. Just leave their names in the header, but I don't think that's intentional. If it's true, I mean, if it's true, then I feel sorry for Meghan's dad right now. Apparently he was asked for a SIM card and he said she was his daughter so he didn't want to answer that. Do you agree with this message, please let me know what you think below if my video was helpful. Don't be afraid to like and share with your friends and family members who need it. And also, please subscribe to the Princess Diana channel for more videos from our team. Thanks for watching and goodbye. We will see each other again in the next video.